So he and I really like to go on walks in the forest because when I go, I see things like this. I know what some of are saying. There's a machet. There's a machet. And yes, it is a machet. A machet, Savini, a yellow machet. And it have a few other names like Keel Tree Snake, Golden Tree Snake, Liana Snake, Amazonian Whip Snake, and Razorback. It is similar to the Long Tail Machet, but this one has a little more yellow and a slightly shorter tail. The yellow machet is a terrestrial and arboreal snake, and it is also diurnal, meaning it does most of its hunting during the day. Its diet includes spiders, insects, frogs, lizards, birds, and rodents. Most of the time you'll find it up in trees or near the water's edge. They are a very slender snake with a yellow or green-yellow belly and a dark brown, dark blue, black or black with hints of green on their back. They also have this ridge scale sometimes that is slightly sharp to the touch, hence the name Razorback. They are very quick snakes and if you approach them will flee to the safest place they know even if you are standing in their way. They are also a highly defensive snake and will not hesitate to strike if you corner them. And no, they don't bite like dogs. Sometimes if they bite you, you wouldn't even notice it. I know, I've been bitten several times. I was bitten 15 times while making this video. And thank God they're non-venomous. When it comes down to it, they're pretty harmless. They rattle their tail, they puff, they strike, they hiss, and they can't even put a dent on a car. And they're not really strong either. But anyhow, a yellow machete can get anywhere from 6 to 9 feet. And they can lay a clutch of 5 to 8 eggs. One thing I've noticed about yellow matches is they are slightly curious. Many times in the forest while digging yam with my father and sister, we were approached by matches looking for spiders that would live under the ground. And many times we will just throw the spiders on the ground and they will eat it right in front of us and do nothing. After they had their fill, they would go their merry way. Some of the yellow matches figured out the time and place we would go to dig yam and will wait there for us until we come and dig up yam so they could have their fill of spiders. We wanted the yam and they wanted the spiders that live around the yam. It was a win-win for all. Yeah, that is except the spiders though. Yellow machets are preyed upon by any animal big enough to eat them. The introduction of mongoose and cats has severely impacted their numbers. But I've observed that the ones around where I live have learned to avoid cats and mongoose by staying on certain trees at certain times. This particular machet was very quick and very difficult to film. So if you enjoyed the video, like. And if you really appreciate what I do, follow me. And until then, peace out.